Okay, so what kind of information will, I mean, I guess you answered my next question. Let's get the physical measurements and then also complete the survey. What kind of information will I receive back from the results? So back, you would, um, there are a few things that you could, that you would get back. Um, one of them is um, genetic information. So okay. you could, you could receive um, hereditary um, information. You could see, receive ancestral information. Mm -hmm. And again, these are all things that you have to say, yes, I want to mm -hmm. receive. Um, those are just, a, those are a couple of examples. You also could, um, and I'm gonna quickly go here. You could, you could also receive um, information that um, includes, I mean, you know, obviously you, you have access to your own health records, but the, the, another thing that you could also you have access to if there is something that you want to know more about from the from the DNA piece, mm -hmm. there's opportunity to talk with a genetic counselor for free at no charge to the participant to learn more either about a trait or something that may have that you have a question about with the ancestral piece. Um, there's an opportunity to talk with a genetic counselor there. So you're you're getting a rich um you know, really individualized pieces of information back as a participant. Um, and then you're also, there is, there's just plenty of information on the website about what the program is doing, what mm -hmm. kinds of new research questions um, one a researcher may be asking. As I mentioned, you know, participants are a part of this program mm -hmm. throughout um, the process. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad when you was telling me that, how does this differ from like clinical testing when you go to the doctor and just get normal blood work and lab yeah. work? So when you go to the doctor and you get normal blood work, you know, they may do something called a, a CBC and they're just, they're looking at, you know, your, your glucose levels and they're looking at your, um, your white cell counts and your red blood cell counts and your hemoglobin, those kinds of things. And, and that same kind of information certainly would be coming out of um, the All of Us program, but they also are, the All of Us study is also looking, our program is looking at genetic um, information as well. So there is the opportunity to learn more about, um, again, genetic traits, Mm -hmm. um, you know, your complete kind of makeup of you, <laughs> there's, mm -hmm. there's that opportunity to do that. And you don't necessarily, you don't always do that in a regular physician's visit. Um, and because there's that opportunity for you to learn about genetic variants, um, or differences or mutations in your own blood sample, then there's opportunity to talk again to a genetic counselor about if you choose to do so, um, or if you choose to get those that information, which allows you to talk to, go back and talk to your, your own family doctor mm -hmm. um, about things or your own family about what, what you've learned. So there's, there's a lot of opportunity to really kind of to information share and, and really have real substantive conversations with your healthcare provider, as well as your family about what you learned from the, um, the All of Us DNA results. Okay. Do you know what's happening in Birmingham? Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.